So another really common thing that people want to do is that they'll want to take the default ISO template that they've been um, you know, modeling with and then they'll want to convert that to like an ANSI template. Um, and while I don't know a direct way to go ahead and do that, I do know how to take the ISO template and make that mimic what the ICE, you know, ANSI template is. Um, so, in other words, going from the international standards to um, U.S. customary standards, um, which is a very common thing. So to go ahead and do that, we'll go up here to the Applications button, come down to Solid Edge op Options, come all the way down to Dimension Style, make sure this thing is checked, use Dimension Style Mapping, and then set all styles to ANSI Inch, Apply, Apply, OK. Applications button again, Properties, File Properties, Units, let's go ahead and change these to Inches. So again, I'm going from ISO to ANSI. So it was millimeters, is now reading as inches. Um, and even extruding, all that kind of stuff is, is reading in inches. So fantastic. So how about going the other way? Same thing. Um, ISO, apply, apply, okay. So now we're reading in uh, millimeter and, you know, there we go. So it's back into ISO. So um, small thing, but um, can be a major, major, major headache.